Lately I've been thinking about what makes a great bag. And it's really not too complicated. What makes a great bag is a nice look and aesthetic. And it also has a purpose, meaning that the design of the bag is aimed at somebody, like a traveler, a student, or a filmmaker. And bags that really interest me have what I'll call an X factor, which is an above the beyond fill in the blank feature that separates your bag from the average bag. And hopefully it's a useful feature. But some bags take the shotgun approach and try to appeal to as many people as possible with a lower price, a variety of storage options, and good enough materials. And that is the bag that we're looking at today. It's only $30 and it's a number one top seller on Amazon. It's actually been that way for a while because I bought this bag like a month ago and it's still up there. And to be honest, I was surprised just how much I like this bag. I'm Titus and today I'm reviewing a bag made by Maiten, Maiten. and for the money, I'm really impressed. It's available in a few colors. I didn't care for the default gray, so I went with charcoal for just a few dollars more. The material it's made of is a bit thin, but also lightweight. I wouldn't call it cheap, but it's definitely not premium. It seems durable enough, though. The zippers have a really smooth zip to them. That I really like. Some bags have zippers that hit snags here and there, but not these guys. It's just smooth sailing. And a few of the pouches have two zippers that slide together with a hole for a lock if you want to have some extra security. Security. Its design and overall aesthetic is uh, fine, I guess. It's not a flashy type of bag, but where it shines is, is in its function and organization. Because this bag is deceptively spacious. It seems so small when I just look at it, but then I start putting things in there. And then there's plenty more space, so I put more in there. And there's still more space. I think part of it is just because of the thin materials, it just kind of flexes and molds to whatever is placed inside. There are a variety of pouches, which I love because it gives almost everything you could have its own spot in the bag while remaining not too bulky. There's a laptop pouch with some protection and then a thinner, less protective, smaller pouch. I think it's for a tablet. There is even a larger area right next to it with a few extra pockets, as well as a smaller area with a few little pockets, a small zipper pocket on the front of the bag, and then a side zipper pocket right behind that. And finally, a more secure long pocket that's embedded into the mesh padding on the back of the bag. Basically, there is a lot of pockets on this thing, but despite that, this is a bag that is still small and light. And right here in one of the smaller areas there is a keychain option that you can put your keys in it does feel a little cheap though but there you go and there's two side flexible pockets on the side that can be used to carry water bottles and they work great for just that now i did mention an x factor earlier and there is an x factor to this bag and i've seen this in a few bags there is a spot in the bag for a battery bank which connects to a port that is on the outside of the bag. Now, it doesn't include a battery bank when you purchase the bag, but honestly, I think that is better. Battery banks do die after a while and they get better over time. So if it was built in after it inevitably dies or just kind of degrades, it would just be dead weight on the bag. Not to mention that charging a bag would be a little odd. The back and straps are padded, not with the nicest padding I've ever felt, but good enough. And the bag, even when it's completely full, it's comfortable to carry around, but I personally still do get a case of the sweaty back if I'm hustling through an airport or something. But it does have a luggage strap on the back, so that can help you there. So what makes a great bag? Quality materials, aiming for a purpose, and an X-Factor. This bag may not completely check each of these boxes, but to me, this bag is just a really easy sell. I totally get why this has been an Amazon bestseller for so long for the money, I haven't seen anything close to this. And I have two bags that I reviewed that are made by OnePlus, and those are more premium bags. But there are some aspects that I actually prefer about this bag, even though it's a less premium bag. The battery bank option is nice and useful, and the amount of things that I can fit in it while still being organized is just fantastic. My only real knock on it is it's not super protective of whatever you put in it. So like for my camera, I don't know if I'd just put it in by itself in the bag, I'd probably put it in a case first. And it's not really that protective because the materials within is just pretty thin for the most part. The only exception is it's a little bit extra padded in the laptop slot on the back. But on the other hand, this compromise makes the bag cheaper and makes the bag really light and compact and just more minimalistic. One of my goals with this channel is to find products that are just no-brainers. Products that are just not too pricey, incredibly useful, 
and just get the job done. I think this bag is just that. Now, are there much nicer looking bags made of more premium materials and a much nicer look? Yeah, of course, but those aren't $30. And I think most people will find that this one does the job pretty well. Now, this is my unbiased opinion. This bag was not sent to me by anyone. I bought it with my own money, but there is an affiliate link below if you decide you want to pick one up and you don't mind supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and please let me know what you thought of the video with a like or a dislike, and subscribe because I'm always looking for cheap products that offer a huge bang for the buck. Thanks again, and I'm Titus, by the way, and I guess I'll see you next time.